The Unist Cool Lubricator is a fluid delivery system that mixes a small amount of lubricant or coolant with air and delivers it with accuracy and precision. In other words, it delivers just what you need, only where you need it. It's used for a wide variety of machining lubrication needs, sawing, drilling, CNC turning, and machining centers, and wear point lubrication too. Multiple metering pumps can be stacked in the cool lubricator with each pump supplying its own nozzle. This provides additional spray coverage from multiple nozzles. Multiple nozzle colubricator systems are ideal for multiple spindle drills and taps, stock punches or any application requiring material being sprayed from several points. The colubricator may also be used with a wide variety of fluids ranging from vanishing fluids such as isopropyl alcohol to high viscosity oils. One of the most common fluids used is Cool Lube 2210, a highly refined vegetable oil. For maximum system longevity, Unist highly recommends using one of our Cool Lube products, lubricant and coolant. There are two pumps available from Unist. The black pumps are for neat oils, and the red pumps are for water-soluble oils, water, and vanishing fluids. The standard cool lubricator consists of a reservoir, an enclosure, a solenoid valve, a pulse generator, and one or more positive displacement pumps. A nozzle is attached to each pump via single line or coaxial tubing. For most operations, it's important to use coaxial tubing, thereby keeping the liquid and air separated until they meet at the nozzle. The system is powered by shop air. Most customers use a solenoid valve to actuate it, which means the colubricator is seamlessly integrated into the machine controls. The lockable steel enclosure prevents any unauthorized adjustment that may interfere with optimal operation. We use Viton seals in our pumps to ensure its long life, and three drops per stroke. For most applications, six drops per minute is adequate when using a neat oil such as Cool Lube 2210, or about 30 to 40 drops per minute for a water-soluble coolant. There are a total of three parameters that are needed to control the output mist two for the liquid and one for the air and the results are dependable and consistent nozzle outputs are controlled by independent adjustments of the air metering screw and the metering pump stroke adjustment knob this frequency ranges from two to two hundred cycles per minute this adjustment is made easily with a screwdriver for the liquid output the brass stroke adjustment knob on the pump adjusts the stroke of the piston and the pulse generator controls the speed of the pump you can achieve the same net output with either a long stroke at a slow rate or a short stroke at a higher rate. To decrease the stroke of the pump, rotate the stroke adjustment knob counterclockwise. To completely shut off the pump, rotate the adjustment knob counterclockwise until the knob is against the E-clip and close the air metering screw. Notice that there are four graduation marks on the knob. Each mark is one-third of a stroke. If two-thirds of a stroke is desired, turn the brass knob so that the second line is aligned with the black plastic casing. The output, however, is not linear with the stroke length. At two-thirds of a stroke, the resulting output will be about 50% of a stroke. At one-third stroke, the output will be about 10% of the full stroke. On the lower right side of the pump, there is an air metering screw. Maximum air flow is achieved with about two full revolutions of the screw. The amount of air needed depends on many factors, including the nozzle design, the number of pumps in the assembly, and the pressure of the air supply. For a typical system, with a single pump 90 PSI air supply and standard 3 8 inch OD coaxial tubing, use the following settings. For the air metering screw, set the pump stroke to the full length and set the pulse generator to six strokes per minute. To determine whether the settings are correct for your application, use the following guideline. If you can see the atomized fluid coming out of the nozzle, you are probably using too much air, liquid, or both. As a result, the atomized droplets will be too small and a fog will be created. If, on the other hand, the air is too low, 
the spray pattern will begin sputtering and the atomized droplets will be too large. Since it is difficult, or in some cases impossible, to actually see the output from the nozzle, use either cardboard or your fingernail to visualize the spray pattern. Spray the output onto some clean corrugated cardboard. Paper does not work well. Aim the nozzle nearly perpendicular to the cardboard and move the nozzle or cardboard at a consistent rate to visualize the spray pattern. For the fingernail method, put your fingernail next to the nozzle outlet. It should turn shiny in less than one second. At Unist, we pride ourselves with mass customization. If you need something that isn't standard, we can customize your assembly with any of the following options. Reservoirs. Options include 10 ounce clear nylon, 16 ounce polyethylene, 32 ounce polyethylene, 32 ounce polycarbonate, and 64 ounce polycarbonate. For the 32 and 64 ounce reservoirs, there is an optional low level warning switch available. Additionally, when several colubricators are used, you may want to consider a central supply system which can be either low pressure or gravity fed. This eliminates the need to refill each individual reservoir. Nozzles. Unist nozzles come in many sizes, both standard and custom. Soft copper, lock line plastic, stainless steel, and flexible stainless steel are typical nozzle materials. Tubing. There are two basic choices for tubing, single line and coaxial, or coax. Coax has a 1 8 inch tube inside a larger tube. In general, the single line is a low-cost alternative to coax, though the coax line provides a more consistent spray. Actuators. Electric solenoid valves in a wide variety of voltages. Manual sleeve valve. Air pilot valve. Pulse rate timers. There are three timing devices available. The pneumatic pulse generator, a pneumatic ore block that provides a single shot when given an air signal to actuate and an electrical solenoid that can be used when digital timing is desired. To summarize, the Colubricator is a flexible system that can be customized to almost any application including CNC machining and turning centers, saws, drills, wear point lubrication in machines, and conveyance systems. The Colubricator is easily adjusted